Weather Watch and a live look outside at Grand Park. Blue sky, sunshine. It sure wasn't warming us up, though. No, <laughs> very, very cold. And I think we're going to finally get out of this funk, Mary Kay, and get some temperatures that are more seasonal. Right. It's hard to break this, but you'll like the seven days, especially the tail end of it, because for now, we have Arctic air in place. Temperatures are running half of our normal daytime high. Well, our high today was better than yesterday's 12. We hit 21 this afternoon. Normally, 42 is where we should be. We'll get there. It's just going to take a couple of days. Here's what we expect. It'll be cold tonight again with a few flurries. The feels like temperature as low as 10 below. Then we're watching the storm track for a snow chance late Thursday afternoon into the night ending Friday morning. Most of this is going to fall south of Chicago, but then rain, thunder, wet and mild conditions coming our way for Saturday. For right now, we have a partly cloudy sky out there and our temperature is 18 degrees. But look at the winds west northwest gusting to 30 miles per hour, making it feel very cold out there. Winds are gusting to 36 miles per hour in Morris, 35 Aurora, 37 mile per hour gust now in McHenry. So it's feeling like one below there feels like zero. Aurora DeKalb feels like one in Morris and in Ottawa. So those northwesterly winds are interacting with some low level moisture. So that could touch off a flurry early this evening between about now and seven. Otherwise, our skies will clear out late tonight. Nine will be the low temperature. West northwest winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow, a day much like today will have partly sunny skies with a late day flurry chance, a high of 28 though. So going up in the temperature department and then Thursday we're looking at that afternoon and evening snow chance. So when we look at the models here, here's 7 a.m. It's interesting to note the battle between dry high pressure to the north and low pressure trying to send some snow into the picture across Illinois. Well, with winds coming around this high, that's going to push in dry air. So right now it looks like the models are favoring areas south of I-80 to see that snow. And especially when you start going west into Sioux City or Des Moines, we could see about two to four inches of snow there. There. Closer to home, we could see maybe two tenths of an inch up to a half inch if it stayed on track. It really depends on how strong that dry air feed is from the north. But just know that Thursday night into Friday is a snow chance. Then on the weekend, a new system will line up and the warm air with it may touch off showers and thunderstorms late day Saturday into Saturday evening. And then on Sunday, the low will be sitting right overhead, pulling in some cooler air, mixing a little snow shower activity on the back side of that system, but not a huge crash in temperature. Let's remember too, this weekend, we spring forward. Daylight saving time begins at 2 a.m. on Sunday. Yes, you lose that hour of sleep, but the temperatures are going to be looking better. So rain and thunder on Saturday. Some of you will hit 50 if that rain holds off long enough till late in the day. Sunday, light rain, maybe a little sleet mixing in in the morning. 40 for a high. We're holding, barely holding those 40s early next week, but at least we put a few together for you, Robin Erica. Yes, it is so nice to see that for a stretch. Thank you, Mary Kay. It has been freezing, and we're hoping we're going to get a little bit of a warm up. Yeah. Yes, here is a live look outside. Mary Kay is here now with the forecast. Eventually, we hear 40s. Is nice, I know, and a few of them in a row, but we have a cold air mass in place tonight, and those winds continue to gust out of the northwest and west almost at 30 miles per hour. So what we expect is a wind chill value in the morning to 10 below zero. Then I'm watching the storm track for some snow to start Thursday evening, especially south, and that all tapers off Friday morning. But on the weekend, when we are warm enough, we are going to have rain likely on Saturday with chances of thunderstorms by Saturday evening. Right now, when we look live outside, skies are fair. We're at a dozen degrees at O'Hare. We made it to a high in the low 20s today, so that was an improvement from yesterday's high when we made it to 12. It feels like three below zero. Winds are out of the west, sustained now at 13, but gusting to 24 miles per hour. We also have high winds in Morris and Kankakee to 26 miles per hour. Aurora checks in with a 31 mile per hour wind gust. That just keeps pulling in the Arctic air and pushing it across the area, creating the feels like temperature to five below in McHenry, six below DeKalb, two in Valparaiso, two below in Rensselaer. So this is a snapshot of how it's going to feel tomorrow morning, but some places may drop to 10 below for a moment when you factor in the winds. And as those cold winds come over the relatively warmer waters of the lake, water temperature is 34, but that all makes some lake enhancement snow here for the west sides of lower Michigan. We had some flurries move through 
through earlier. Those are tapering off now. And as we go through the morning hours, it's going to be a cold start. Winds start picking up all over again and clouds move in in the afternoon. We could see some flurries as we get into the evening rush, but not amounting to anything. And then on Thursday, we'll start with sun and then cloud things up late morning and we'll watch for some snow to develop. But it really is going to be fighting some dry air that's going to come in on an easterly wind at six miles per hour. So it'll be interesting to see how far north that storm track will go. Fair and cold tonight, nine for a temperature with those west northwest winds coming down a bit, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Actual temperatures will go to 10 in LaPorte, eight in Aurora, eight in DeKalb, and six in McHenry. So 28 tomorrow with those late day flurries. Thursday we're dry and fine until the sun goes down and south of I-80 is the best chance to see that snow develop and it will linger on and off through the night. But as low pressure starts pulling in our direction during the day, high pressure to the north is going to send in that dry airflow out of the east northeast. So it's a battle of two different air masses, but right now the models are setting up the best accumulation just south of Kankakee County. So when we look at the model plot, we're seeing maybe a half inch in Chicago, but when you go to Peoria, the Quad City, Champaign, more than three inches of snow is expected. So we'll have to watch that storm track. The second one on the weekend, bringing thunderstorms in by dinner time on Saturday. Then on Sunday, the low will be right overhead, pulling in some cooler air behind it. So you might get a light mix early Sunday morning, and then we'll be left with some plain old rain. And don't forget, daylight saving time begins at 2 a.m. Sunday, so you lose an hour of sleep, but we get those longer evenings. Here we go, that string of 40s. Some of you may hit 50 degrees if that storm slows down just enough, but it'll be a wet and mild weekend here coming up. Yes, but just a taste of something better. Right, something That's different. Great. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mary Kay.